it's not what you say. It's how what you said was heard is more important. I'm more interested in what they're hearing than in what I'm saying. If I got to talk about gerbils, fish, and tortoises and weird stuff, but I get the right emotion at the right time, it's not a, we're trying to get a fast one. It's like, this is the way human beings do things. Like my friends in the movie business, they, that's just how they write this stuff. If you remember the eighties, you remember the, um, the horror movies. Yeah. I never Jason liked them, Voorhees. but keep going. Did you like them? No, never liked them, but okay. keep going. <laughs> so let me help you real quick. There's always a <laughs> yeah. sex scene prior to the murder. Why? I like those. I know uh-huh. you do. So the sex scene <laughs> and everyone's comfortable and safe and feeling sexy and a different level of hot oxytocin through the roof. Then the cortisol hits. The cortisol hits harder when you're in love land, right? The murderer mm. just murdering. Hey, you walking down the street, you get murdered. It's not half as good as you're in like making love and everything's good or sex scene. And everything's great. And then they do it. So your job is to play with these drugs and these emotions to create a storyline that makes people feel comfortable doing what they wanted to do. But, but this is the thing. I don't really do sales. I do influence. And there's a big difference in the words. Like I influence you to believe it's a good idea to do this, influence you to feel bigger and better that you can decide. And I, I, I get you to feel like you have the power to make a decision versus me making it. And you did it for me because that was the transition. In the old days, I would get you to buy because I wanted you to make me happy. No, I mm-hmm. want you to believe you're capable of making that decision so you feel empowered. Nobody feels good having not made a decision. So I truly believe they will mm. feel better having decided. Have you thought about that? How good you can help somebody feel by helping them decide to do something they want to do? The feeling you get swiping that card, buying a $2,500 set of knives. I remember buying those knives. What was that set? Probably the ultimate set. And I bought them. I felt like, like I did it. <laughs> and if I would have only bought the $500 set, I would have been like, oh, well, I wanted the 35. Like I wanted it and someone helped me through it. Getting someone through their first bigger purchase or through that first mortgage or through their first switch of a merchant account gets them to feel accomplished. The line of people always feel better making a decision. You have to close your loops because when you have an open loop and it's remaining, it weighs on you and you have this indecision that you're living with. One of the uh, narratives that I hold in my life and I frequently uh, reference is I used to refer to myself as I still refer to myself as a recovering perfectionist. And I was always trying to get everything just right. Yep. And through that process, I found myself doing this ready, aim, 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 aim. And I was waiting to pull the trigger until I got it just right. And I would pull the trigger eventually with like one thing. And as I got into business and I got more on my plate, what I realized was I've got to make the decision faster and get done with it. And if I fuck it up, oh, well, I'll go back and make another decision later and try to change it. But the power of making that decision Um, does boost your confidence and does make you feel like you're more capable. Because even if you make a series of wrong decisions, the practice of making lots of decisions inevitably makes your decision-making process better. 